You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. It's more than 17.9 million people have contracted COVID and more than 318,000 Americans have died from the virus. Many people who are skeptical when it comes to getting the vaccine, however, uh, first, many people are skeptical of getting it, but the head, uh, the head of Doctors COVID-19 Consortium decided to take the vaccination. Uh, many people are skeptical about whether the COVID vaccine is safe to take. President-elect Joe Biden today received his first dose of the Pfizer and BioNTech COVID vaccine live on television. Oh, that's better than that. You got it, Dave. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Got an umpire? All right. No, no, you just go ahead. Anytime you're ready. It's worth saying that uh, this is, is great hope. I'm doing this to demonstrate that people should be prepared when it's available to take the vaccine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm looking forward to the second shot. So is Jill. She's had her shot earlier today. She loves shots, I know. <laughs> In the meantime, I know I don't want to sound like a sour note here, but uh, I hope people listen to all the experts and the Dr. Fauci's on talking about the need to wear masks during this Christmas and New Year's holidays, wear masks, socially distance, and, uh, and if you don't have to travel, don't travel. Don't travel. It's really important because we're still in the thick of this. It's one thing to have the vaccine show up at a hospital. There's another thing to get the vaccine from that vial into a needle, into an arm. And uh, there's uh, millions of people out there that are going to need this. Well, Mustafa, we saw there where uh, President-elect Joe Biden uh, taking the shot. Uh, look, you ain't going to see Donald Trump sitting his ass down taking the shot, uh, even though he actually contracted coronavirus, uh, because he doesn't care about actually leading by example. What he chose is to do is to be stuck on stupid. You've had these White House Christmas parties packed with people, and guess what? There have been people coming home testing positive for COVID-19. you got to be dumb as hell to go to the White House for anything with COVID, with that, that, that place being a, a major uh, spreader of COVID-19. Well, we should just call out the fact that the White House is a Petri dish. If you go in there, you know you're probably going to end up getting something that is not going to be helpful to your body. I really appreciate... Uh, President-elect Biden for his leadership, you know, not just sharing words with folks, but actually putting that together with the actions, you know, sitting down, having a mask on, getting the vaccine, and then continuing the conversation with the country that it doesn't stop there, that we still have actions that we can do to help us to deal with the pandemic that we find ourselves in by not traveling, by doing the social distancing and the other things that CDC and others have shared with us will help us to win on the pandemic. Uh, Julian, it's, it's not that actually hard to lead, but you kind of got to want to. And what we have here is a petulant child uh, who is so angry and upset that he lost, uh, that he just simply can't help himself just whine and complain. And that's what we're seeing from Donald Trump. And frankly, according to White House aides with various reports, he, he's just said, what the hell? Uh, he doesn't care about coronavirus, doesn't care about the response. Uh, he's just mad and ticked off and is sitting here just on Twitter because he lost. That's what, he, I mean, he's literally acting like a spoiled brat. Actually, Roland, you are giving spoiled brats a bad name. This man is a 70-some-year-old overweight child who you if you could just 
just picture him laying on his back with his feet kicking because he that he lost. But that's not the point here when we have 315,000 Americans who have per died, perished because of coronavirus. When he continues to have rallies, to have parties, or to have his people have parties, to do all of that. It's an absurdity that we cannot fathom because really what he essentially seems to be trying to do is to basically salt the earth so that when uh, President-elect Biden comes in, he has an even greater uh, um, burden to deal with. Even more than that, uh, we know that there are so many irregularities how are you going to go to the Supreme Court at the last minute and ask them to turn the election over when they already said they weren't going to do it? Here's why. So you can raise money. So we've got this guy who is acting like the last of the living boneheads, and that's the nicest word I can use on the air, last of living boneheads, uh, basically undermining our democracy. We have, this is a pandemic that is killing people. And many of us have had to moderate our behavior. My mama is 92 years old. She's had a stroke. I want to go home more than I want to do anything else, Roland. But I can't. First of all, my sisters told me to keep your black you-know-what in Washington because uh, I'm over 65 and I'm diabetic. But secondly, all of us have had to make these kind of adjustments in our lives. And meanwhile, this man is sitting there acting like a you know what? It's absurd. It's ridiculous. But the worst part of this is that his Republican colleagues will not call him on it. A few of them have, but not many have. And so America is taking the hit. All of us are taking the hit. And he is not responsible, nor are his colleagues. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.